lucky that today to have um, Rose, who our special guest, who's come all the way out from Ghana, and um, we're going to learn a lot about. She's actually a, a cocoa farmer over there. We've got to give Rose a big warm welcome because it's your first time to New Zealand, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. correct and say it's your first time out of Ghana. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm really curious to know, everyone's probably thinking, what, what was it like going on a on the airplane? Because it's your first time you've been on the plane, right? Yeah. Yeah. How did you find yeah. that? Yeah. At first I was feeling scary. Yeah. <laughs> because I never take a flight before. And this is my first time I take a flight. Um, well, we're all uh, so here. I mean, everyone here is in the food industry and really keen to hear. Um, I, I, well, I'm speaking for myself, but I'm sure you all are as well. Um, very keen to hear about how you actually grow chocolate, cocoa, and how you make chocolate and the, the cocoa beans and everything. So, where do we start? So, you've got a farm in Ghana, yeah? And yeah. have you? How long have you been cocoa farming for? Yeah. Um, I've grown cocoa for 10 years now. Yeah. yeah. So you've been part of Kwapa Coco, which yeah. is the cooperative. How long have you been part of that for, for the yeah, 10 years? Yeah, I joined Kwapa in the year 2009. Okay, yeah. yep. And your motto there is Pa Pa Pa. Pa Pa what, Pa. What does that yeah, mean? In our local yeah. language, you call it Pa Pa Pa. Yeah. Meaning best of the best of the best products <laughs> from cocoa farmers. <laughs> <Yeah>. Fantastic. <laughs> And, and so you're a, a teacher as well, yeah, are you? Yeah. So you've, you've got two jobs. You do the cocoa farming and teaching, and as, teaching well. as well. Yeah. Gosh, you must be very busy. <laughs> yeah. 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 Can I ask, were you, um, have you always been with Fairtrade? Um, yeah. Yeah, like you weren't doing other cocoa farming before that wasn't under the, the program yeah, or yeah. certification? Yeah. yeah. At first, I was not a member of Fairtrade. Um. And in my community, we were, we were having a problem of portable drinking water. The water that we drink, it was a stream, and we drink the same water with animals. You we were having a problem of infecting uh, waterborne diseases like blurry ulcer, guinea worm, and all the waterborne diseases. So we are past senses the danger that we are heading towards. So they came to our rescue and establish a hand that well for us, which we get portable drinking water for it. After, before, uh, less than a year, Kuyapa also brought us a mobile clinic, which helped us to cure all uh, waterborne diseases. And Kuyapa was able to do this through the premium that they received from Fair Trade. And that encouraged me most mm. to join Kuyapa, because they are helpful. Through fair trade, yeah. So there'll be lots more plans with yeah. the money that, that yeah. comes to yeah. Kwapa Koko. And Kwapa Koko mm -hmm. uses part of the premium that they receive from fair trade to train us, the women in Kwapa, so that you, you can live better life and look after our children and support our husband to look after our children's <coughs> education. So they train us on how to make liquid soap, a mini bar soap, and even how to do batik. This oh. one I did it myself. Wow! Yeah. Do you have many people working for you on the farm? Yeah. Yeah. How many yeah. People? In our communities, we help each other. It is a cooperative organization, so there is a cooperative spirit mm -hmm. among us. So in our local language, you call it no <laughs> boy, <laughs> meaning helping each other. Yeah. And, and what um, hopes do you have for like the future of your farm and your cocoa production and your community as well? Yeah, my hope for the future is that I want people of New Zealand, that is pre my precious kiwi, <laughs> that they should increase their consumption of cocoa products on fair trade markets. <laughs> their chocolate with fair trade labels. So that fair trade will get more, more money and increase our premium mm -hmm. for us to get more premium to better ourselves as well as our community too. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you so much, Rose. Yeah, yeah, We're okay. very lucky, and um, I'm sure everyone feels the same way, but we feel very lucky to have you come over here. And it's amazing to hear it straight from yeah, the, the actual farmer themselves. And yeah, normally we'd get to hear it from someone who's visited. And, <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
you know, has read up about it, but you're the real thing, so thank you very much. Madassi. <laughs>